All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, We are well aware that your heart is weighed down by what they say. Celebrate the glory of your Lord and be among those who bow down to him. Worship your Lord until what certain comes to you. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Consolation, consolation is one of the noble Islamic values and virtuous human morals through which a person helps others overcome their sorrows and get over their pains. When contemplating the Quran, one finds it paying much attention to the value of consolation. The Almighty Allah Himself has consoled His prophets and close servants of Him. We have the situation of our Prophet, peace be upon Him, when His people tortured Him and rejected His call. Allah, glory be to Him, consoled Him by saying, Wait patiently, O Prophet, for your Lord's judgment. You are under our watchful eye. Celebrate the praise of your Lord when you rise. That is, be patient to the destined uh, decree that Allah made regarding the message He gave you and the suffering you will find from your people. You are in our protection and we save you. When the Prophet felt the, the sorrow for his people's rejection to follow the path of the truth, Allah consoled him saying, but Prophet, are you going to worry yourself to death over them if they do not believe in this message? And also said, O oh Prophet, are you going to worry yourself to death because they will not believe? These verses and other similar ones were revealed to comfort and console our Prophet, peace be upon him. The Almighty Allah relieved the Prophet's heart and commanded him not to overburden himself, saying, your duty is only to, to deliver the message, the reckoning is ours. And also said, you are not there to control them. That is, do not overburden yourself. Your duty is only to convey the message and clar clarify it. As for guidance, it only comes from Allah who says, O Prophet, you cannot guide everyone you love to the truth. It is God who guides who, whoever He wills. He knows best those who will follow guidance. When contemplating the Quran, one finds how did Allah comfort the mother of Prophet Moses when she was ordered to throw her baby into the river. Her heart was about to break out of fear, but the Almighty Allah relieved her as a glory be to Him said, we inspired Moses' mother, saying, Suckle him, and then, when you fear for his safety, put him in the river. Do not be afraid, and do not grieve, for we shall return him to you and make him a messenger. Then Allah consoled her by bringing her baby back to her in a nice way, as he, the Almighty, said, We restored him to his mother in this way. The Quran narrates to us the way Allah comforted Mary, peace be upon her, when she was greatly troubled and said, I wish I had been dead and forgotten long before all this. Allah ordered an angel to call upon her to comfort her as Allah said, but a voice cried to her from below, do not worry, your Lord has provided a stream at your feet. All praises due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The forms of consolation are multiple. Consolation may be practiced through giving money, giving advice, showing sympathy and emotional participation, and making dua as well. The Quran tells us the story of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and the righteous man. When Prophet Moses left his town out of fear, he met that righteous man and told him his story. The righteous man comforted him, saying, Do not be afraid, you are safe now from the people who do wrong. 
Our Prophet, peace be upon him, commanded us to adhere to this noble value when he said, He who has an extra amount should lend it to him who has nothing, and <coughs> he who has extra provision should give it to him who has nothing. When our Prophet, peace be upon him, settled in Medina, the immigrants came and said, O Messenger of Allah, we have not seen a people more willing to sacrifice when having a lot, or better in giving help when they have little than a people among whom we have settled, that is Al-Ansar. <clears throat> the Prophet, peace be upon him, also praised a tribe called Al-Ash'ariyin for having this attribute. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When the people of Ash'ari tribe ran short of food during the battles or food of their families in Medina ran short, they would collect all their remaining food in one sheet and then distribute it among themselves equally by measuring it with a bow. So, these people are from me and I am from them. How much we need to have the attributes of consolation in, in dealing with each other in order to foster love and fraternity and strengthen our social relations. O oh Allah, cement our hearts with love and remove hatred from our hearts.